In an increasingly connected world, navigating AI and cybersecurity is more important now than ever. MSU hosted a cyber symposium today, and Natalie McCain was there, and she has more for us. Pros at today's event say fabricated news sites and emails account for the main scams people fall for. But as our world shrinks through interconnectedness, these can be detrimental not just to your identity, but to Texas's infrastructure as well. In an increasingly intertwined digital world. You're not just in Wichita Falls, you're in Wichita Falls, but part of a bigger global network. Everything's connected together. Staying vigilant is more important now than ever. Cybersecurity pros like Morgan Wright say security breaches don't just affect individuals. Five or ten years ago, we would be talking about, oh, if your password gets out or if your credit card gets out, might be some identity theft. No, it's about power. It's about water. You know, when you have hurricanes, when you have tornadoes, when you have a huge heat wave that impacts your electrical grid, those are the types of things we have to be able to protect. So everybody's part of this is about literally protecting your identity. And as small businesses rely more on AI like ChatGPT, which saves all of that data, others say obscurity is no longer security. If you're a small business, you are increasingly a sweet target for hackers because it takes less work than ever using AI to target your business. And you tend to have less security than an enterprise. Whether you're talking to someone claiming to be a Nigerian prince or get one of those texts asking if you're able to hang out, the pair sees more people falling for similar scams daily. The biggest type of loss that we see is business email compromise. And this is really simple stuff. This is people just uh, mimicking a real email and looking like they're asking for a wire transfer. This is still where 25% of losses that we see on the insurance side come in. So how to lessen your chances of becoming a victim? Even when barrages of time-sensitive scams flood your inbox, just take a step back. Slowing down, taking your time and realizing, did I ask for this information? Did I ask for this PDF? Do I really have to open it? You know, don't fall for these text messages where they go, hi, is this so-and-so? Because this is, everything's part of a scam. Be very stingy about sharing your information. Blocking hackers from stealing the most sensitive of information. Of course, it's a prevalent issue, but it's not all doom and gloom. Wright says it's important to be skeptical of everything you see online and to use multi-factor authentication. And if you want to go the extra mile, cyber insurance is available to protect overlooked security gaps. For more on that, visit the story on our website. So much good advice right here. Okay, Natalie, thank you so much.